Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is let's set up our hero and uh, bullet sprites. So I'm going to kind of walk you through. This is where I'm at currently, but I'm going to delete all of this and start over um, just so you see the entire process of what I did. So uh, first going to start with hero and bullet, not even an enemy sprite. So got these two going. I created a hero sprite and I went into animations and I went ahead and picked this particular plane um, to do that. Clicked on new animation, went to vehicles. And then if you go to the second page, you can see some of your player ships here. Um, I personally liked. So you can pick whichever ship you like. Um, I think I picked this one, which is fine. And there's my hero sprite. Make sure you crop around your hero sprite so that it, you know, makes it as tight as you can around um, that. And then it is currently 75 by 112, which is okay for right now. I might want to shrink that later, but for right now we're good with that size. And then I created a bullet sprite. And all I did for that um, is I created my own. So I went to draw your own, went to resize, and I went ahead and um, resized it so its width is 5 and its height is 8 pixels. And make sure that you have maintain aspect ratio unchecked. And then I just hit resize. And then I just filled this with, with red. And that's my bullet. So it's this little bitty sprite here compared to my larger hero sprite. Um, and then called this one hero, called this one bullet, and we're good to go. So uh, eventually you're going to put an enemy in there. So I've got an enemy uh, right now, but we'll get to that. So where do you start your hero and where do you start your bullet? So I started my hero at 200, 350, so that way he's down here at the bottom. Um, and then I've got my bullet starting at the hero.x location, which is at 200, and then at 450 for the Y, so it's actually off the screen here. And there's a reason for that, uh, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I need to draw a draw function, and then I need to do a draw sprites, and if I run that, we should see the hero, um, and currently no bullet, because it's off the screen. If you wanted to, you could put this at hero, dot y and now it's sitting right here in the middle of your spaceship um, if you wanted to you could actually say it's hero dot y minus hero dot height divided by two if you think about where that's going to place it you should place it right at the tip of the nose there because what it's going to do is it's going to put it at the hero dot y which is right here and it's going to subtract so it's going to go up half the height so half the height would be, you know, to here, and then it's going to put it right at the middle of the nose. Now, if you want to do um, subtract another half of the bullet, so you could do minus uh, bullet dot height divided by two. Now it will actually show up right at the tip. Um, oh, it's because it hasn't been created yet, so it doesn't like this, uh, the fact that you're trying to do that. You can just reset its Y value if you want, um, like in the next line of code. So you can't, you can't make the Y value of the sprite equal to the Y value of the sprite when it hasn't even been set, or the height of the sprite. So we could say it's uh, the bullet Y. I'm going to copy this bunch of code right here, and then I'm going to edit it. Let's say it's minus bullet dot height divided by two. And this one I can just put, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter. So you don't have to do this, but I just want to show you now the bullets at the tip of the nose. Are you going to notice a difference? Not really. So is this really necessary? Probably not. Um, but I think this part is necessary. I think the fact that you um, can put the, bring the bullet from the middle of the ship to the front of the ship. I think that's important right there. So it should shoot from that position 
if I move my hero, that's kind of the next step. So let's move the hero. How are we going to move the hero? I just want my hero to move back and forth for my shooter. So how am I going to do that? Who am I who am I talking to? Let's let's get a show of hands. Who's going through like how to make a bullet for their game? Okay, just so I know who I'm talking to. Okay, so how are we going to move our hero? Okay, so so I'm going to create a function that's called move hero. And in that I'm going to have some conditionals. So if key down and I'm going to do left arrow and then I'm going to do a key down right arrow and then what am I going to change about my sprite? Hero.x gets hero.x left is minus so let's do minus 5 and then on this one, I'm just going to copy it, paste it, and this one's going to be plus five. So let's try it. So I should be able to move it. Oh, I got to call move hero in my loop. So I got to call that function inside of here. Run it. Okay, so do I move my hero? Yeah, what's the problem? Yeah, so what do I need to do? I need to draw a background, right? So now, there we go. What's your bullet doing? Nothing. What should our bullet be doing? Should our bullet be tracking with our hero sprite? Yeah. So let's call a function called shoot bullet. So let's create a new function. We'll call it shoot bullet. Uh, what do you want to make your uh, your shooting button? You want left mouse? Okay. So we're gonna do um, mouse went down. So if the left mouse button went down, what happens? So this is where we kind of need to think about um, our bullet. First of all, should we be able to see our bullet currently? No. Where should our bullet be located? Or should we turn it invisible? Which do you think is better? Well, I'm going to say that moving the bullet off the screen is better than turning it invisible. Okay, we don't want it to be near anything, so I'm going to shoot. I'm going to push our bullet off the screen over here at about 450 when we first start. So when I create my bullet to begin with, it's not going to be at hero.x anymore. I want this thing to be over here at 450. So when I run it, it's now chilling out in space, and we can't see it because it's off our screen, which is perfect. As soon as I click my left button, what do I want the bullet to do? I want its x value to now be where? Bullet.x is equal to hero.x. So it's going to now appear right on top of there. So let's check it. So if I move my guy and I left click, where did it come? Oh, why isn't it coming there? That's right, I don't have the function call inside of here. So I've got to call the function. So I move the bullet, or I move the hero, and I'm going to shoot bullet. So let's try it now. Click. Oh, look at that. Click. Oh, look. When I move, it now tracks and follows my hero every time I click. Click. Click, click. So at this point, we need to give our bullet 
a y velocity. So we're going to do a bullet dot velocity y, positive or negative? Negative. So let's do a negative 6. Uh, maybe a negative 10, actually. Let's do negative 10. Reset, rerun it. Click. Oh, I need to reset its Y position as well. That's correct. So watch what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this line of code up here. And I'm going to bring it down. So anytime I click, it's going to reset its X and reset its Y. And then it's going to give it a velocity of negative 10. So let's try it. Okay, what happens when you multi-click? <laughs> What's it do when you multi-click? It basically redraws it at the beginning. So if you had an enemy over here and you just kept doing this, are you ever going to hit the enemy? No, because it restarts it every time. So this is where we need to kind of think conceptually about what is happening. When do you want that bullet to fire? Only when it's ready to fire. Would we agree with that? So we're going to create a variable at the beginning that's called can shoot. And we're going to say that it's true to begin with. And you're like, what does that mean? Well, can the bullet be shot currently? The answer is yes. So check this out in terms of our Boolean. Um, this is called a Boolean operator. So I'm going to go to show text. I don't want the bullet to fire at any old time now when I click the left mouse button. I want it to fire if the left mouse button is clicked and what? And if I can shoot. And what this and operator does, this and and, says that this condition must be true and this condition must be true. What is the current value of can shoot? It is true. What happens if after I shoot, I turn can shoot to false? Will I be able to shoot a second shot? No. So watch when I run it now. If I shoot a shot, I can't shoot more shots when I left click. It only allows me to shoot one time. No more shooting. Then you have to think to yourself, when do I want to re-enable shooting. That's right. So I need to put an if statement here. If bullet dot y is less than, let's say, negative 10. So it's off the screen. What do I want to now do? Well, I can move the bullet to um, 450 in the X direction, so not sitting way off the screen here. I can change the bullet dot velocity Y to zero, so now it's just sitting in space over to the side. And I can change the bullet dot Y to Um, hero dot y and the last thing that I can do is turn can shoot back on so now watch what happens when I click it goes off the screen but now I can click again and I can click again and I can click again and you're like well how do I know that it reset my bullet well I can go over here and look at my bullet.x value, you can see that it's 450. I can do my bullet.y value. I can do my bullet.velocityy value. And I can see where it's at. So it's just sitting out here in space. And so I shoot again. Again, you can see a change, and then boom goes to a reset position off the screen.